See what I can do. Head over there. Count on it. Hey. Do something Go check you. that out. We've heard some very disturbing things about you. That you've been to the Institute. That you're actually working with those monsters. You're lucky we don't shoot you on sight. Who told you that? I'm not about to divulge anything sensitive to you. Get the hell out of here, and don't come back. Desdemona. Just and here leave. I was thinking we'd become pen pals. Something you need? Over here. Done and done. Oh, someone should make use of it.
is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Good to see you. We got more than enough power. At last, we have power adequate to our needs. Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And, oh, I almost forgot. Take these. Oh, thanks. Grenades. Sure, I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean... Thanks. I thought it was neat. But still, it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? It's 
the Brotherhood's giant robot. Right. They think it's their ultimate weapon. We're going to show them it's ours. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past ten years. And, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders. But he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry, we'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. What have I got for backup? Once the generators are down, we'll be able to throw everything we've got at them. And I do mean everything. What happens to Liberty Prime after this? They'll be destroyed along with the rest of the Brotherhood. Have we got a plan B? We don't need a plan B. This will work. Anything else? No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. <laughs>